Hi YouTube, it's Andrea with um, a strike that I had for this last week. So I've been praying and doing some more research. I did get a strike on something pretty heavy and I think I struck a nerve as a couple of the uh, people that are on my channel uh, said that they got halfway through and it somehow got deleted and it, it was literally deleted within an hour, hour and a half of it being put up. Um, I think it's because I was linking to the third letter of the alphabet, fourth letter and the third letter. Also to one of the makers of the you know what starts with that. I'm having to do a lot of pink slips because I have to be very careful of what I say. Um, I don't want to get a second strike because that's two weeks and then the third one is three months. So I don't want to get any more strikes if I can help it. Um, today, the, the, the lesson um, really is very grim. It's very sad. It's... Um, it's very serious and I have had a chance to go and do more research as the Holy Spirit led and how this all started was I woke up about a week and a half ago and how he speaks to me is in the mornings when I'm waking up um, or when I'm taking a nap waking up depending on the day is he'll give me words upon waking up and this day that I got this word I uh, unfortunately, I blew it off because I thought, well, this isn't a word. This has happened to me twice now. Um, as I walk through, I have to be very diligent and, 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 and I'm learning lessons as I go as well. I've only really been in the Bible since May. And for some of you that know that um, he's given me a huge gift of teaching and he's given me a gift of discernment and knowledge. And I am an end times messenger. I have now accepted that. At first, I was like, there's no way. I can't do this. I don't want to be on camera. I... Just had no desire to do it, but as he's pushed me to do more and more, I'm actually glad that I am so that I can help people um, in these last days. So the word was Tau, T-A-U, and I that's how it was sounding in my mind, but the way that I was spelling it to be able to remember it was T-S-A-O, I believe, but as I, it was Tau, Tau, that's what kept coming up, so... <laughs> Again, he confirmed it that same day that somebody else did something on TAU, which is before the O variant. Um, it's the 19th letter of the alphabet, which could become a, a variant. I'm not sure. Um, but there's other, other things that I'm going to talk about with this because it does apply to where we're at with this. Okay. It's quite amazing. So when Jesus came down to die for our sins, he did not say, so for the ones saved, always saved, if you're listening, you may want to just delete me now because that's false doctrine. He did not come back to get rid of his commandments or, you know, anything in the Old Testament. It still applies. His entire Bible, the entire word is, is the, 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 the living water of him. Okay. So his commandments never went away. So if somebody is living in sin because they feel like they've been forgiven, by the blood of Jesus, that is so not true. It's not true. You cannot live in sin once you're converted. So those in the Holy Spirit, when the veil is lifted, the spiritual veil of darkness, once that's lifted, he gives you things that you can learn from. He allows you to read the Bible differently. He'll put things and ideas into your head that you thought maybe was your own idea, but it really wasn't. Um, so um, my gift is waking up and he gives me words. So anyway, T-A-U was the word and we're going to go into that in just a minute. But first I want to read from Deuteronomy 28. Um, what this is, is a curse. Okay. It's a curse and we're going to go through it very, very diligently and you'll understand why now um, here in the end. Okay. So it's the curses of disobedience. It starts with number 15, Deuteronomy 28, 15. If, however, you do not obey the Lord of your God by carefully following all his commandments and statutes I'm giving you today, all these curses will come upon you and overtake you. You will be cursed in the city and cursed in the country. Nobody's going to get away with uh, this. Okay, nobody's going to get away with this globally. It's going to be in the city and all countries. Your basket and eating bowl will be cursed. The fruit of your womb, children, will be cursed, as well as the produce of your land which would be famine, the calves of your herds, the lambs of your flock. You will be cursed when you come in and cursed when you go out. The Lord will send curses upon you, confusion and reproof, in all to which you put your hand, until you are destroyed and quickly perish, keep that in mind, because of the wickedness you have committed in forsaking him. The Lord will make the plague cling to you until he has exterminated you from the land that you are entering to possess. So the more you get, the more this diminishes you. It exterminates you. You know, 
Every single one, the first, the second, the third, the fourth, the fifth, the sixth, the eighth, the 10th, the 15th. How many of these things do we need to get rid of these variants? How many, how many do we need? We don't think through this for a second. This is complete blindness on the side of those that are being cursed right now. Okay. The Lord will strike you with wasting disease. <clears throat> this is what this is. Excuse me. I did come down with a head cold. All right. <clears throat> Excuse me. With fever and inflammation, with scorching heat and drought, and with blight and mildew, these will pursue you until you perish. The sky over your head will be bronze and the earth beneath you iron. The Lord will turn the rain of your land to dust and powder, basically famine. Again, it will descend on you <clears throat> from the sky until you are destroyed. What's also in the sky? Chemtrails. The Lord will cause you to be defeated before your enemies. You will march out against them in one direction, but flee from them in seven. You will be an object of horror to all kingdoms of the earth. Your corpses will be food for all the birds of the air and the beasts of the earth with no one to scare them away. The Lord will afflict you with the boils of Egypt, with tumors and scabs and itch from where you cannot be cured. Does that remind you of anything in Revelation? The Lord will afflict you with madness, blindness, and confusion of mind. Does that remind you of anything going on right now? Um, and at noon, you will grope around like a blind man in the darkness. What's a blind man in the darkness? It's a spiritual veil, a spiritual dark veil over people's eyes that cannot see what's going on right now. Those are the people taking this. Those are the people that are saying this is a precursor. Those are the people that are saying once saved, always saved. Blind man in the darkness. You will not prosper in your ways. Day after day, you will be oppressed and plundered with no one to save you. And then it says your sons and daughters will be given to another nation. Soon to, soon to be war, right? While your eyes grow weary looking for them day after day, there will be no power in your hand. A people you do not know will eat your produce of your land and your toil. All your days will be oppressed and crushed. You'll be driven mad by the sights you see. It's coming. The Lord will afflict you with painful, incurable boils on your knees and thighs from the soles of your feet to the top of your head. How many have looked up what this does to you after you've taken it? Boils. Um, shingles. Which basically looks like a boil. Itching. Scratching. Bruising. Everything you can look. You can go duck, duck, go this. You can go look at this. This is some of the bowls that that he talks about in this, okay, that are actually being broken down now, right? So the grievous sores and the boils. It's the curse right here, okay? So with that being said, there's a lot more in Deuteronomy 28. I'll let you go read all this, and I'll go ahead and attach it. But the curses, it just literally talks about the famine uh, and, and the pestilence and what's going to chase them down until they're completely destroyed, okay? Now, what does wasting disease mean? Let's go to the third letter of the alphabet, fourth letter of the alphabet, third letter of the alphabet website. Okay, I can't say it. So let's go on. They actually have what chronic wasting disease is. It's a curse. Prion diseases are transmittable. Spongy form encephalitis are a family of rare progressive neurodegenerative disorders that affect both humans and animals. They are dist distinguished by long incubation periods. Or you get, right? The quicker it happens. Long period, long inc incubation. Characteristic of spongy form changes associated with neurological loss and a failure to induce inflammatory responses. Um, then it goes into identified prions disease. In the humans, it's called Crutchfield-Jacobs disease. Jacob's trouble, ring a bell? Variant Crutchfield-Jacobs um, disease is actually a variant. And also Kuru, the zombie disease from Africa. Kuru, you can look that up. So when you start seeing about the uh, zombie apocalypse, that's what is in this, okay? Hold on, I'll, ex I'll explain that. Also, bovine spongy form encephalitis, which is mad cow disease. We've seen that in humans before, right? And then chronic wasting disease is a prions disease. What did we just read in Deuteronomy? It will attack you until you are destroyed. There's no mistake that he gave me tau, okay? Because now we're going to go into what tau protein means. It is, this is on Wikipedia, you can go look this up. 
The tau proteins, after the Greek letter with that name, are a group of six highly soluble protein isoforms produced by alternative splicing from the gene MAPT, or microtubule associated protein tau. You can literally go on the website right now and look up what this is, all right? And it has to do with the microtrubial proteins in the They have roles primarily in maintaining the stability of the microtrubules and axons and are abundant in the neurons and the nervous central nervous system. You know those that have been taking it and you see that they shake like they have Alzheimer's disease or they have Parkinson's? Well, now you know why. They are less common elsewhere but are also expressed on very low levels of acetocrites and a big long word with an O. Pathologies and dementias of the nervous system, the nervous system, that's what they're after, such as Alzheimer's disease and Parkinson's disease are associated with tau proteins that have become uh, insoluble aggregates called neurofibrillatory tangles or the entanglement in your brains. The tau proteins were identified in 1975 as a heat stable protein. Okay, so keep in mind that that tau protein, you can go look that up on Wikipedia, it goes through how the translation of the, in your body, has to do with the ribosomes and the reduction of this protein, this tau protein, can be altered in the function of your brain. I'm not a scientist. This is so easy to look up that they're not even hiding anything anymore, okay? So when you're looking at tau proteins, this has to do with neural development, also, the deformities of what goes on in your proteins, okay? And then I'm going to read off of a website. This will actually shock you. I wish I could show you the picture that I'm looking at right now. Um, it said a president starting with O, last name O, and a Nobel Prize for prions back in, I think, 2010, Okay. And it says, vaccines impact on Alzheimer's disease and Parkinson's disease unknown. Millions of people scramble to get vaccinated against this, you know what. Millions of others are not convinced of its necessity. And then it goes through a safety thing. Um, I can't really say what, you know, there's too many of this word in it. But it says, my concern is that it will uh, do the things that have already done with prions disease, including Alzheimer's and Parkinson's disease which is the tau proteins. This is just, I can't even make this up. Okay, the, our, uh, this V, for example, produced by you know who and you know who is based on, well, the first two, the big two, is based on protein science, which is one of the great frontiers of modern medicine. The technology encourages the body to produce more proteins than can act as antibodies against the virus. It's called a spike. The new watch and watch, the new with the N group, is based on protein science. It contains the proteins from the beta variant first identified in South Africa. And then it goes on to protein science. Proteins are all living organisms and include many essential biological compounds such as enzymes, hormones, and antibodies. Every cell in the human body contains protein, which is an extremely complex substance consisting of amino acids and connecting uh, the peptide bonds. Proteins perform vital functions within each cell said to be carried out by the duties specified by the information encoding in our genes. With the exception of certain types of... Most other biological molecules are relatively inert elements of which which proteins act. Proteins are large, complex molecules that play many roles in the body. They must, they must do most of the work in the cells and are required for the structure, function, and regulation of the body's tissues and organs. Antibodies bind to specific foreign particles, such as a virus and a bacteria, to help protect the body, which would be in a normal back, you know, a, a normal back, backup. We need protein in our diet to help our body repair cells and make new ones. Protein is also important for growth and development in children, teens, and pregnant women. Like other biological microtubules, such as 
a big word, and nucleate acids, proteins and essentials, parts of organisms, and participate in virtually every process within the cells. Many proteins are enzymes that catalyze biochemical reactions that are vital to metabolism. And it goes through all the cell signaling, the immune response, cell adhesion. It just goes through, you know, why proteins are so essential for our bodies, okay, and our DNA and our, and our genes. The first protein to be sequenced was insulin. Um, that was Sanger. People kind of know about that. Um, and then it says, once formed, proteins only exist for a certain period and then are degraded and recycled into the cell's machinery through the process of pr protein turnover or the folding of the protein. A protein's lifespan is measured in terms of the half-life and covers a wide range. They can exist for minutes or years. On average, it's one to two days in our cells. Abnormal and misfolded proteins more rapidly degrade either due to being targeted for destruction or due to being unstable. Okay, then it goes into this tech. You know what? Uh, and there's so many of this, I can't even read it. I'm not going to go over that. Um, but you can read this. I will connect it because it is uh, alzheimersdisease.tv. Um, but I do want to read, <clears throat> excuse me, I do want to read the prion science and what it really means. Okay, so prion science is a variety of factors can trigger the neurodegenerative disease, including genetics, head trauma, and prions disease. Prions are infectious, deadly proteins that consume the brain. Prion disease is clinically known as transmissible spongy form encephalitis, as the name suggests, or TSEs are transmissible. Prions are deadly and unstoppable form of protein that mi migrates, mutates, multiplies, and kills with unparalleled efficiency. Prions cause fatal neurodegenerative disease in humans. Where is this going? I mean, how much more do I need to read that it erodes the body? It erodes the brain. It's wasting disease. Prion disease is often described as wasting disease that causes a loss of body mass and brain mass. Do I need to say any more? Tau proteins. Deadly protein spread throughout the body, fluids, and tissues of those carrying prion disease is in the milk of a mother, blood, saliva, mucus, urine, feces, tissues, and skin. It's basically your entire being. Even asymptomatic victims are carriers. Prions shed from infected humans are highly transmissible to humans and many other mammals. Once discharged from the body of victims, prions proceed to migrate, mutate, and multiply. Prion contamination is simply impossible to stop. Okay, I'm going to let that sink in for a second. President O is a very belated, gave a very belated ceremony awarded to a National Medal of Science in 2010 to recognize the importance of his research, important reforms to policies to protect public health. He is the guy that he came up with the prion's disease. Um, how do I, how do I say this? Uh, for Alzheimer's. He's, he's done a lot of research on that toxin and how, how, and why it gets, um, Tangled. So it says Alzheimer's disease is currently defined based on the presence of toxin protein aggregates in the brain known as amyloid plaques and tau tangles. It's wasting disease. This is a curse. It's a curse. Now we know why those of us that are in the spirit will never take this because we're not cursed. I hope this makes sense. It's very deep, it's disturbing, but it's God's curses, okay? So this one saved always, oh, you know, the Old Testament, none of that stuff, you're wrong. This is a curse. Alzheimer's disease is a prion disease. It is Parkinson's disease. Therefore, it begs the question that the, that symbolizes protein in the body and in the mind, in the body of a person already under attack from rogue proteins, question mark? We're about to find out. And this author says, because this is a experiment, now we know what it's doing, okay? So I am not the one that came up with this. I am not a scientist. I follow the Holy Spirit. 
And for those that, again, are in the spirit, you're going to see this and go, wow, this is all about curses. It's a family curse. All the things I've talked about in the spiritual veils is true. If you do not have the spiritual eyes and the light to see this, then you are in the dark. And there is no in between. There's no gray matter in between here. Okay. It's either you're in the light or you're in the dark. Where is your spiritualness? Where is the veil? Have you asked God for the truth? Have you been walking with him in the spirit 100% giving your all? Because I could not come up with this on my own. There's no way. There's, I'm, not, I'm not a scientist. I'm not anybody other than somebody who follows God. He is showing us this to show us how serious the, the, you know, the curses are with that. All right? So I'm going to leave you... With John 3.18. And I'm going to actually link Jacob's disease and Jacob's trouble. What all that means. I can go on and on about this curse. People that are... Jacob's trouble is real before you come into Christ. Okay? You're, you have anxiety. You're troubled. You're going down a dark path. You're sinning. Once you have the light and once you become in the spirit, all of that goes away. That tribulation goes away. But Jacob's trouble will continue when you are cursed. Things like this. This is why this is going on right now, okay? Wasting disease. All right, I'm going to go on for God so loved, okay? This is, I'm going to leave you something positive because those that are in the spirit will never take this. I don't care. You can, you can hold me down and, I, I, you know, you can do that, but I don't accept it, okay? That, I'm not cursed. And, and I don't believe God is going to curse his spirited children, you know, we're waiting for the blessed hope of us to be, you know, raptured out. There is a small remnant that will go. I don't know when, you know, I'm just here to, to help those that are in the spirit. At least this isn't very comforting, but at least you now know it's actually a curse, right? I mean, it's just so clear. All right. I'm going to leave you with this. Whoever believes in him is not condemned, not cursed, but whoever does not believe has already been condemned. Because he has not believed in the name of God's one and only son. And this is the verdict. The light has come into the world, but men love the darkness rather than the light because their deeds were evil. Everyone who does evil <clears throat> hates the light. It does not come into the light for fear that his deeds will be exposed. But whoever practices the truth comes into the light so that it may be seen clearly that what he has done has been accomplished in God. So remember, for those of you still in the dark, this is a spiritual issue. Please go back to my spiritual veils, that video. I think it'll help you understand. And this is more about giving your life over to Christ 100%, not 99.999%. It's 100%. He will give you the truth, but you have to be in the spirit to even receive this message, okay? This is rough. This is not easy. But remember, curses are real. So in my next message, I'll um, be giving something a little more positive, And that will be the obedience blessings. Okay? And I love you in the Lord. <sighs> Stay safe. And don't, don't take this. This is obviously a curse. Convince everybody and anyone in your family to not take this. I know they're not going to probably listen to you. Because if they're already cursed, they can't see it. All right. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen.